Nate, I think I've overdosed on Gilmore Girls lately. I'm pretty sure that I've sat through at least four or five episodes today, and I watched two or three yesterday, and all I can think is, Oi! With the poodles already! We are, we forever are, we are, magic and magic and magic. Alright, remember how I told you I arranged my books by color? Well, I started to arrange my books um, here by color. Right now they're just thrown on a, a bookshelf in a haphazard manner. But I made the green section. So I want to show it to you because it's got this really cute little birdhouse that I made today that goes with it. Green! My fridge is finally full of food again. Kathleen went shopping with me and Tim and his wife Jen on Wednesday and we went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and I bought all sorts of food. It was very, very exciting because my fridge hasn't had food in it for, I don't know, like two and a half weeks with the pre-moving and the post-moving and all of that. So it was very empty and sad and you know, it was just depressing to open the refrigerator because all that was available in there was water and some, I don't know, hot sauces that we had moved from the other place. So, um, we got some bad news last week. On Friday, our landlord called JP to tell him that um, the owners of the building have accepted an offer to sell the building. Uh, the people they want to sell it to want to turn it into an environmental charter school and therefore wouldn't need us as tenants anymore. In fact, they would, I don't know, demolish our apartment and turn it into whatever. And of course this comes, it came about, I don't know, 24 hours after we moved. So that was really awesome. And I'm glad that I had that full, like, you know, 15 hours in the new place to enjoy it before we found this out. Um, if they do end up accepting the offer, which will come after months and months of various inspections, then we'll get our moving expenses paid for and we'll be allowed to get out of our lease whenever we want so that we can find a new place to stay. But now we're kind of stuck with the, do we worry about this now? Do we worry about this later or what? And uh, I mean, we don't, at the latest, we'd have to be out at the end of the year. So we do have a little bit of time, but it also made unpacking seem kind of sad and demotivating because I don't know, what's the point of unpacking if you're repacking in three months? I mean, seriously, do I need every single wine glass to be out for the next three months? Probably not. Though, I don't know. I guess I know a lot of people that drink wine. So, I was in Kansas last weekend, and then on Tuesday, I unpacked, and then on Wednesday, Kathleen came, and we unpacked, and then on Thursday, which was yesterday, we unpacked, and then Matt and Grace and Justin came over, and we had a Wizard Rock show. Tiana, who is I Speak Tree, and this new guy, Richard, who is Undesirable Number One, and he premiered his Wizard Rock band last night. He's actually a hip hop artist, and did some MC Creature covers. Did a very good job with them. Um, I was pretty tickled for him. He seemed really excited to get a chance to meet some people and hang out and whatnot. And um, he actually lives in Akron. So I told him that he needed to meet all the HP Ohio folk, obviously, especially Squibby and Ken and Beth and Vago because they're all right there in the Akron area with him. Nate, you're probably one of the first people that I ever met in the fandom. And uh, the reason for that, of course, is when you went on tour with Matt and Justin, you were their merch girl. Um, I guess not this fall, but fall of 2008. And so every time I see Matt or Justin, I'm also reminded of you, just because that was sort of my association, the three of you. And I got to spend a lot of time last night with Matt and Justin, and it really just made me think about how I missed you and how we haven't gotten to hang out for a while, and that's really sad. I can't believe that you saw my twin today at the DMV. That really weirds me out. Uh, people tell me often that I look like somebody they know, but they can never remember who or it's just always this like vague sort of I don't know comment about how I'm I don't know ordinary looking which is kind of offensive if you think about it like oh gee you just look like random girl but I trust that the girl at the DMV did actually look like me and that you just don't think I look like generic random girl
Did you look up through the... Uh... Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah.